Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for the anticipation episode. It's killing me people. <laughs> it is killing me. I want to take this apart so bad. But it's not ready. I keep checking about every 10 minutes. And it's still not ready. So I thought I would share my pain with you guys. <laughs> no, I, I added something else too. See this piece right here? See with a, a big spar like that, you know it's fine going up and down. But you got to keep it from what, you know, the, it, it's going to want to lay down, you know. So I put that uh, brace in it there. I wanted to glue some sticks on my mold, so I went ahead and took care of that. Got them all clamped down, got some extra clamps, a little extra weight. Everything fit good. And it's killing me. I have to see what's inside that mold. All my glue joints and my fit came out just awesome. I don't know if you guys can see in there very good, but everything came out really good. Fit up here, fit down at the bottom. This seam along here is just perfect. See, I put that one inch tape up there all the way back to that first bulk in. And uh, someone asked me, I think if I put holes in them ribs. Yeah, see? And they're in the back, so for the wires. And, uh. Nope, not ready yet. <laughs> it's at the tacky stage. I could almost. I could almost trim it. But I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning. I'm probably gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight. A new baby in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's killing me. I want to take it apart. What y'all think? Y'all want to see what's inside there? I cannot wait to pop that mold apart and see that wing. My mold of gear door hatches. We're going to trim that out. We're going to mount that gear. Someone else was asking me if I was going to put the gear in there first. No, I made a big access hatch. We got to be able to get that gear in and out. And uh, man, I got a bunch of bolts in there too. Got all them real tight. Got some extra clamps way up here on the nose. I just want to make sure that seems good. You know, I got a bunch of these clamps, so I might as well use them. Just to make sure that joint is bam all the way down to that. <laughs> I thought I'd just make a movie right quick and let you know what's going on. It's killing me. Took the Bobo wife out for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, had to go to the Sizzler. Let's see. I'm gonna get this place cleaned up. Man, this place, it's a mess. So, I'm gonna take me a couple days off. And I don't want y'all panicking. <laughs> Thinking the Chinese came got me. I'll be right here. We just been busting it, man. All the way through, you know, to to now. Especially built doing all them small parts, molding them wings. See, I got all my parts cut. For that second wing over there, it's even got my hinge. Cause I'm gonna when I mold my my flaps and my ailerons, I'm gonna build my my hinges into that stuff. I'm not gonna use them plastic robot hinges on the flaps, especially because there's too big. There's too much open area. It makes them real sloppy. But I'm gonna show you guys how to build them into your mold and. Uh, 
Got a couple other good ideas about uh, we ain't going to have no horns sticking out of the bottom of the plane. We've got plenty of room for the flap. A little bit. Of, we've got enough room for the elevator. I mean the ailerons too. See, there's the hole I was putting in the back of these for uh, putting the wires through. So I've got all my parts cut for the second wing. So that'll be easy. I sure do have a mess on my hands here. Don't take a couple days. Get it cleaned up, get everything situated. We're gonna pull that mold apart though. Tomorrow morning. Guaranteed. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> live on YouTube you know or should I wait should I wait a couple days before I show you guys <laughs> wait till the next season episode of Bob TV starts before you see the wing oh oh you guys be mad at me wouldn't you <laughs> okay people the season finale tonight. Join us next season for the unveiling of the wing. The next season of Bob TV. Oh, wouldn't that be terrible? Y'all said you wouldn't care if I was cleaning my garage or what I was doing. So, you know, I'm gonna watch me clean up my shop. Cause you know it's killing me. You know it's killing me inside. To uh, sit here and look at that and not be able to open it. Hey James, how was them cookies by the way? <laughs> Did you uh, help that girlfriend of yours into making us some cookies? I'll give you my address. You <laughs> send me my app. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I ain't going to show you guys that. I promise I wasn't going to show you one of my spray balls. A primer. <laughs> no, I have. When I was doing my gear door thing, I was kind of in a hurry and didn't want to clean out the gun for it spraying them all apart. So I just picked up some problem. Hey, look what Dad made me. These are some little deals he made for vacuum bagging. It's kind of like what Butch had. He's got wing nuts to tighten them down, got a little piece of rubber. Got little slots for the bottom, and that hose I use will, goes right on them ends. Just push it on. Pretty cool little setups. We'll give these a try when we vacuum down that other half of that wing next next season on Bob TV. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be terrible? That'd be a funny old prank to pull on you guys, don't you think? Now I won't need my homemade bleeders no more. But these work pretty good. In fact, I was going to reuse these. Because uh, they're still good. Oh, did I show you what Paul brought me? Uh, <laughs> some of you guys are going to like this. I'm going to use it to pull this wing off. It's a wedge. That's you. Hook your compressor to you can just put uh, my blow deal, you know, right on the end of there. Comes out there. Probably stick under that wing. Right. Like right here. <laughs> blow it right off. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, people. We'll be back next season. When we pull that mold apart. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, people. We'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time.